Welcome back. In this video I will teach you how to install Age of the Ring, from the beginning to the end, in other words starting in Battle for Middle-earth, Rise of the Witch King, and ending in Age of the Ring. But before started, I want to thank all the comments for the last video of Age of the Ring. This video is for all the people that didn't understanding, and now, let's start. As a first step we must go to the Revera Forum site and enter. The site is quite simple but basically explains step by step how to install from Battle for Middle-earth 1 to Rise of the Witch King, we are interested in Battle for Middle-earth 2 for now. As explained here, point number one, we must download the digital CD, which would be like having the original CD of the game. We click on main one or two, it doesn't matter. Since I already have everything, I have made a folder to explain everything step by step. As you can see, there is a file called tbfme2. But if you notice, it is an ISO file. This means that you need a program to open it. Below, I will tell you two programs which I generally use to open this style of files. The first is one called WinCDMU. This is its official website. Always try to download it on this website. When you click on the link, you simply have to click on the download button, and that's it. The second program is called Demon Tools. We will also find it on its official website. It has two plans. With the free version, it is enough. Having already explained the subject of the two programs and having at least one of them installed, we could continue, we right click, and in my case, I am using the WinCDMU. We click open. In the case of this program, check that box that I have made. We give it OK, and a new digital image will be added to our computer. We pay attention only to auto run, and we run it as an administrator. This tab will open, in my case I already have it installed, but simply click on the install button and it will ask you for a serial. I'll leave you some below, after that you have to click on next. As a recommendation, leave the default installation path, and there the game will be installed. I'm going to close this tab since, as I said before, I already have it installed. Once you have the game installed, the next step is to use the ghost disks that simulate that we have the original game. We must download it in this part of the page. Once that is done, we open the battle for Middle-earth 2. Now we can continue moving on to point number 5. As you see highlighted here, we will have to download the option file. When you download it, we will go to the location we read before. In my case I have it in users slash home slash PC, and there we must look for the app data. We click on it, and here we will have the folder, my Battle for Middle-earth 2 files, and inside this we hit the option. Now let's check if it really works. I'll open it. Well this works perfectly, it shows us a little cinematic, the landscapes are really beautiful and the colours, I'm really impressed. And here we have the main menu. I won't go into depth about the functions of this menu, but the only thing I will say is that it is intuitive. I am going to close this to continue. As a next step, we're going to install the Rise of the Witch King. As you can see here, this would be the icon. We'll just repeat the same thing we did with the Battle for Middle-earth 2. I put my folder on my desk to make it more comfortable. My recommendation is to put everything in folders so that it doesn't get confusing. I'll click on the Witch King's folder called DLC, and as you can see, here is the other ISO, we open it and click on Auto Run, just like before. As it happened before, I have the option to play, however you must click Install, enter the Witch King serial, which I will also leave here, and install it. Then I'll close this tab and you guys will follow the same steps as before. Now we go to our Google search and type 2.02v9 Rise of the Witch King. Click on that link and download the patch. It's that simple. I already have it downloaded and installed. You must install it when it has been downloaded. Once the patch is installed, this icon will appear. We open it and we will see here the most recent version. Now let's test if Witch King Rise works. We'll open it up. Apparently it works. This cinematic is really beautiful. We can see different locations. In this DLC, for those who don't know, there is the new Angmar faction. And while the main menu of the Rise of the Witch King is here, we go to Configuration and as you can see the latest version is implemented. I close the game and as a last step it will be time to install the Age of the Ring. So, we type Age of the Ring 8.0 in the searcher, we click on this link, we tap on the download button and here too, there you will start downloading the game, install it, in my case I will cancel it because I already have it. And finally, we write Age of the Ring 8.31. We enter this link and you will see here that you need 8.0 beforehand. As you can see here, the Age of the Ring only accepts the 2.02v9 patch. That's why we had to install it. 
We double click on Age of the Ring 8.3.1 and hope the game opens. Don't worry if you see the mini screen of the Rise of the Witch King. Remember that the Age of the Ring is a mod, and while apparently the game works, we see the introduction, with the sound rack of the Return of the King and the Grey Havens in the background. I'll show you a little bit of the mod. I will go to Skirmish and I'll choose that map, with a faction of Misty Mountains, and let's see how this goes. Everything seems to be working properly. We can see the powers and buildings of this faction. In that case, I'm going to leave the game and close it. This ends my explanation about how to install the Age of the Ring from the beginning. Don't forget to subscribe, like it, and see you soon.